Over the last two years, we have been uh, faced with multiple challenges to keep construction on schedule. This area in particular was going to push into some road closures into 2023, uh, and that just wasn't beneficial to anyone. Uh, so we recognized pretty early on that if we can shut down the whole roadway, uh, that'll allow us to get in here, still try and finish around the month of September, uh, so we can get access back open fully. The biggest concern on this one was really just pedestrian access. Just over here, just down the streets of Benjamin Rush Elementary School, uh, and that was kind of the key player from the very beginning. The main priority for the school district is to make sure that the students and their families have a safe walking route. We also had a real interest in making sure that this project was completed before next school year. We looked at several different options, busing, personal transportation uh, and we ended up landing on a pedestrian bridge to get across that allows uh, pedestrians and bicycles. So that really enables us to reduce overall project schedule. Uh, it also is a very safe method for students to get across the, the access over to the Benjamin Russ Elementary School uh, and then it also just gets us closer to the completion of getting it from the Redmond Technology Center to downtown Redmond Station open sooner. I think the community really came together with, with Sound Transit, with the school district, with the city, and the community at the school, making sure that people still had access to the school. And I think the community is really excited about where we'll be with all of this access coming to this community. This has provided an opportunity for our young people as they cross the bridge to see what's happening below them. And I remember on the first day of school, some of them were a little apprehensive um, about it, and some of them were very intrigued by what was going on below. I kept thinking, what a great opportunity for us to have some up and coming traffic engineers, construction project managers. When they see this and see everything that goes into this, and hopefully it will spark some interest when they get ready to enter the workforce. You know, I think in a multi-year construction project, it is not a question whether we are going to be faced with challenges, it's just a question of when. So again and again, I think the team has proven every time we discover another challenge, we stay united and we work together to develop the best solutions, not only to move the project forward, but also prioritize the needs of the community. I hope that, that we have some kids that really think about what they could do with their future and, and see how big this is. There's so many different pieces of it that people can be a part of.